What's up? I'm Ellie. And I'm Booster. And welcome to Necker News, where we go over the latest gaming news from the last week. We'll read the news so you don't have to. And remember to join the Discord if you want to submit news articles and links to everything we talk about will be linked down below. Yeah. For anyone interested in streaming and VTubers, we're going to start this week off with some news about Twitch. Yeah, Twitch announced a change to their partner program, which uh, allows all Twitch partners and affiliates to simulcast. Except not really. When you're reviewing the information regarding the change, it was discovered that the only place you're really allowed to simulcast are short-form content areas like TikTok or Instagram Live, meaning that nothing has really changed. Yeah. And of course, speaking of Twitch, Ellie and I also stream over on Twitch if you ever wanted to give us a check out. Yes, do it. <laughs> Ellie, do you read me? Yeah. Did you hear the news about Kojima and Jeff Geely? Yeah, I did. So Kojima will be doing a weekly podcast entitled Brain Structure, wherein the Dorita Pope himself will be a frequent guest. Yeah, the podcast will be a Spotify exclusive and will stream in both English and Japanese starting September 8th. Also, if you guys enjoy Kojima's games and have Xbox Game Pass, the cult classic Death Stranding was recently released for XBP. Okay, I'm done with the bit now. Okay, good, good job. <laughs> Speaking of game devs joining the content creation sphere, Massive Hero Samurai, creator of games such as Kit Icarus, Smash Bros, and Kirby, has revealed that he will be starting a YouTube channel called Massive Hero Sakurai and creating games. The channel will have two to five minute videos that go in depth on video game development, with the bonus of being accessible for those who have no development experience. Like Kojima, Masahiro will be releasing the videos in both English and Japanese. Now there are already five videos live on the channel, so give it a subscribe if you're interested. We'll link it down below. Mm -hmm. Alright Ellie, what does it take for you to play Smash? A hundred bucks. No, okay. Character. What character would make you play Smash? No one. There is not a single character. I don't like Smash. Okay, but... So there's not a single character that you'd like, okay, I'll try it. No. You can't think of one. No. Not even if, like, Harry Potter got in there. No. What? what why? Because it's... I don't... I don't... I don't like the gameplay. I don't know. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below how you think we should convince Ellie to play Smash so we can finally get a Smash collab. Give me a hundred dollars. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> A while back, we reported on how Dark Souls servers were taken offline, and we are happy to report that they are now back online for Dark Souls 3, and the rest of the Dark Souls title will be online shortly. I wonder if Ellie will ever play Dark Souls. Only if you're not in the room. Real? Wait, really? Yeah. <sighs> Help! That's why you should just shut the fuck up, Booster. You're so mean to me! I told you I hate backtracking. You're like, no, you have to go back you to You do level actually up. have to go back. Yeah. To level up. Yeah. Except you're fucking wrong! Our final story of the day is uh, more of a warning than anything else. If you play Genshin Impact on PC, be aware of the anti cheat driver shown in the screen used by ransomware actor to kill antivirus processes and services for mass deploying ransomware. It turns off your antivirus and dumps in a ton of malware. It doesn't need permissions as that driver gets admin rights by just being installed. Unfortunately, you don't even need to have Genshin currently installed as the driver was installed on your machine when you installed Genshin. So you need to uninstall the driver itself. Just Google it, it's really easy. It's no problem. Okay, well, that was all the news for this week. And here are all the games coming out next week, and there's a lot of good ones. I suggest looking into Scathe, which is a co-op Doom-like game, Dusk Diver 2, which is a character action anime game, and Onsen Manager, which is a spirited away bathhouse simulator. Mm -hmm. And here's our streaming schedule for the next week. I'll be playing Cuphead on Wednesday with my good friend Justo here on YouTube, while Booster will be doing some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff with an undead loser named Brendan Crow over on Twitch. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you guys for watching as always. And if you have any articles you'd like to see us cover during the week, please join our Discord links down below. And we'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the news this week, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, everyone. Bye. Bye.